If you are an individual or a business, you can pay your federal taxes through the Electronic Federal Tax Payment System, or otherwise known as EFTPS. It's a free service from the U.S. Department of the Treasury through which you can pay income tax, payroll tax, and business tax. I will show you how you can pay your quarterly payroll taxes on Form 941 with EFTPS. Before you can use the system, you have to enroll online. Go to EFTPS.gov and click the Enrollment tab. Select the Business, Individual, or Federal Agency option. If you enroll as a business, you have to provide your company and contact information, as well as banking, routing, and account number that will be used to make tax payments. After you submit the application, you will receive a PIN in the mail from the U.S. Department of the Treasury. You have to use this PIN to finish your online enrollment by creating a password. After that, you can start using EFTPS to make tax payments. Once you have your credentials set up, go back to EFTPS and select Make Payments. To make the payment, you have to provide tax form number either by typing it in the search box or by selecting it from the most common or all the forms. Form 941 is a tax form employers use every quarter to report their employees' wages and payroll taxes to the IRS. It includes details about wages paid to employees, the amount of federal income tax withheld, and both the employer and employee portions of Social Security and Medicare taxes. Essentially, it helps the IRS track and collect employment-related taxes. Let's find our Form 941 by typing it in the search box or selecting it under Most Common Forms. Notice that there are many other forms that you can pay through the EFTPS, such as excise tax, unemployment tax, and even 1120 corporate income tax. After the form number selection, click Next and select the type of tax you want to pay with Form 941. The options shown here are those available for the tax form you selected. They would be different depending on the form you've selected in the previous screen. For Form 941, you can pay your quarterly payments, balance due, offering compromise and audit adjustment. We're going to select the first option, which is Federal Quarterly Tax Deposit and click Next. In the payment amount, put the entire amount from Form 941, which includes your income tax withholding, Social Security and Medicare tax. Let's say we will pay $500. Under Tax Period, select the quarter for which you are making the payment and the year. Generally, Quarter 1 payments are due April 30th, Quarter 2 payments are due July 31st, Quarter 3 payments are due October 31st and Quarter 4 payments are due January 31st of the following year. Settlement date is the date on which you want to make the payment. You can use the calendar to select the date in the future. At the bottom, you should see the bank account number that you provided during the enrollment. If you want, you can change that by selecting the Change Account option and providing new bank information. Once you're done, select Next. In the previous screen, we provided the total amount of tax on Form 941, but on this screen, you will have to specify exactly how much of it should go towards the subcategory amounts. There are Social Security, Medicare, and tax withholding. It is not required, but if you do use them, make sure they add up to the total amount, in our case, the $500. The Social Security tax is 6.2% of your income. Each, the employer and the employee pay 6.2%, so it would be 124 of the total quarterly income on the 941 form. Let's say our quarterly income was 1650 for that quarter. So multiply by 12.4 would equal 20462. The Medicare tax is 1.45% of total wages paid by the employer and the employee for a total of 2.9% of total quarterly income. So in our case, that would be $47.85. The amount of income tax is dependent on number of withholdings, individual situation, filing status and allowances on W-4 form. In our case, it was $247.52. When you add up these amounts, they total $500, which is what we said we will pay towards our federal quarterly payroll taxes. After you press Next, you will have a chance to review the payment information and if everything looks good, click Make Payment. The final screen provides you with an EFTP acknowledgement number and you're able to save or print your payment confirmation for your records. Thanks so much for watching.